Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16 and of course to Dark Avak and Yoko. Now, in this episode, the very first thing I want to cover is the fact that I have added two new mods. The mod list in the video description has been updated to reflect this as well. The mods are efficient lighting, which in a nutshell reduces the power consumption of the standard lights to something that seems a little bit more reasonable in comparison to the other energy consuming items. The lights always seemed a little power hungry compared to things like the electric furnace and, and the likes and or even coolers, which did drain a healthy amount of energy, but the light was only in some cases draining about half as much. So it was like, well, is a, a light really half as power hungry as this massive machine? Well, all this mod does is it reduces the power consumption from 75 units to 25, which is a lot more in line with other um, power consuming objects. The other mod that I have added is a work tab. Lots of people had requested that I bring back the mod from the Alpha 15 playthrough, which increased and expanded the priorities allowed and basically did a few little odd tweaks to work priorities. I have gone through and I have updated Dark Avax work priorities in some places. Not everything is heavily tweaked, but this will get used more and more as we get more colonists and we want to make sure that the, the best person for a particular type of job is the one doing it. But with that, let us, uh, I don't know, pause the game and see what we have to do there are actually quite a few things that i want to do now are you gonna go and eat i think you are yes you are you are consuming human meat <laughs> glorious that is fantastic so the question that we asked in the last episode would dark avak given a choice between prepared meals survive rations or just you know dead humans choose dead humans yes yes he will now, feeling terrible. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Dark Avax is just in a bit of a bad mood. Eight raw food, minus seven. I had to eat raw food. Can't we cook it or at least synthesize some nutrient paste? Eight without a table. I had to eat meal off the ground. Can't we get a table around here? I love the fact that he's very unhappy that he had to eat the raw human off the ground. This is like, ah, oh, <laughs> this is so uncivilized. But then the massive whopping plus 20 from raw cannibalism. I ate it, the meat of another human. Raw, like an animal. It was so succulent. So, so horribly deviant and dark, dark avac. But then again, that what did we really expect? Now, it's interesting to note that the combined negatives from that, each of these negatives is only going to last for 12 hours, by the way. But that's 10. But we got 20 from eating it raw. And that's going to last a full 24 hours. That is actually impressive. Now, what are you up to at the moment? You are going to build a stone cutter's table. Oh, that was wonderful. Okay, when you're doing that then, I'm thinking we need... We need a few things. So there's a couple of things that I would like to do. First and foremost, I'd actually like to pop down a little torch in there so that we've got that room um, visible to us. Secondly, I would actually like to prepare a little area for guests, I think. Um, yes, you know what? Let's go ahead with this. I think we need a location for us to entertain guests. So I'm going to build a little room down there for that purpose. And, and towards that end, we are also going to have to chop down a lot of trees. Let's uh, get all of that set up and speed up the simulation a little bit. Now, Dark Avic is going to go and do a little bit of mining, which is... Ooh, actually, Dark Avic, could you please bring in the pemmican? That will not spoil in that it won't rot, but it will slowly get... Um, uh, slowly spoiled just from being outside, so you know it'll just get part of it will be get blown away or might just get dirty and so on and so forth. It will spoil in that regard fairly quickly, actually. Now we've got our um, stone cutting table that is great. Let's actually set up a bill there. We would like any kind of stone. Do until you have. Uh, let's make a, a rather large amount. Do until we have like 250 stone. But ideally, we don't want to work on that just yet. Instead, we want to get this room set up first. There's actually a few things we really need to do in terms of uh, setting up rooms and the like. I would like to get additionally, I'll set that there. We'll make sure this has always got a roof. In fact, we'll always make sure that any roofed area has a little bit of an overhang as well. There we go. Um, now, this I want to set up as a guest room. 
Ooh, psychic drone. Every colonist of the male gender wins it in pain. Ah, oh, now why? Why? So frustrating. That is unfortunate to say the least. Okay, well, that's going to cause me some problems. Uh, the next thing then that we're going to want in here is more floors. And we'll pop down. Uh, let's go for the light wood floor in there, I think. And we'll also pop in a light as well. Let's get a little torch lamp right about there, I think. Oh, we can put the one down there. Um, you know what? We can put one in both. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Dark Elf is making sure that all the roofs are done first and foremost, which I am pleased with. Now we're going to get everything set up in here. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get some of the uh, the wood chopping done fairly soon, because we are going to need a lot more to finish this place. Uh, we are going to want... Well, honestly, I'm thinking we want guest beds. That is what I'm thinking we want. Um... Could have two, side by side, I guess. Could have two just down here, in fact. Uh, or even just one. Um, I'm not entirely sold on this. We could have one there. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Let's have one there. One there as well. We will place an end table in here. Right about there. We'll have a small table down the bottom, and then, well, unfortunately these chairs do take an awful lot of wood. We'll set them up for now. Uh, we have made a fair number of bricks, actually. We're going to pause this for now, just so that we can get some other things done as well. Now, hopefully, Dark Avac will... Do we need any meals? Uh, we could do with a few. You know what? I'm actually tempted to find out whether Dark Abbott would prefer a cooked meal or... Uh, sorry, a meal with, with human flesh or a... Uh, he would still go for the raw flesh. That's uh, an important thing to note, I think. Uh, went for the regular flesh at the moment. There we go. He's just going to cook some now, it seems. That's not too bad, then. Get all of that in there. There we go. And next one. There we are. Now hopefully we can get all of this sorted out fairly soon. We are definitely going to need that pretty sharpish, actually. Uh, the psychic drone is ending. Wonderful. Let's have a look at Dark Avax move. Yeah, it's going straight up. Good, 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 good. Ooh, you're harvesting. That is not really what I would like you to do right now. In fact, let's... Uh, plant cutting is what priority for you? Six, I think. Uh, plant cut is a six. Why are you doing that then? I would so much prefer you to chop down trees. Wonder if there is a particular thing for that. Let's have a look. Harvest crops. Nope. Okay. Well, let's get... I'm going to have to force Dark Havoc to chop down these trees to make sure that we've got enough wood to finish all of the productions that we've got on the go. I'm going to do that for the next minute or two, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to continue construction. And here we go. We've got some visitors coming by. Unfortunately, we haven't yet finished out this room. That is very, very unfortunate. How many have we got? We've actually got four visitors. Ooh, that's a little bit more than I prepared this place to be able to house. How are we doing? Yeah, we're going good for rest. So at this point, go ahead, wake up and work on the small table, please. Let's try and get this room at least somewhat finished. And there we go. Uh, on the plus side, Dark Abba can now actually eat a meal at a table, which is good. There we go. Let's get a little bit more worked up. Oh, wow. Did they just... They bought my wood! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, that's not what I meant for you to do! <laughs> oh, bloody guests. Also, a couple of our meals unfortunately rotted away, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame. That one. Let's see if we can't get the rest of this place sorted out. Yeah, we've done a we've done a reasonable job in there, but we really do need more work done. We've got a bunch of big trees down there that we can also harvest. Let's go ahead and cut some more things down. You know what? I could always always store some meals in here. I suppose that wouldn't be too bad. And uh, it looks like our guests are just chit-chatting. Let's have a quick look. Um, I'm going to set a default to entertain. I would like them to generally 
chat and uh, you know try to try to be hospitable to the guests there if possible. There we go. Let's get a little bit more meat. I would love it if you would haul away our money as well. That would actually be quite grand. Uh, let's have a see if we can't trade though. We could buy some more pemmican if we wanted. Uh, we could even buy some components if we wanted. Not much reason for that though. I will buy all of your herbal meds. Uh, you've got nothing particularly useful for me there. Ooh, I will sell the dead man's cat because that D signifies that it was worn on a dead person and uh, as much as Dark Avog would eat them, it's not going to wear their clothes. That's, that's just savage. Savage. Barbarous, in fact. There we go. Let's go ahead. Worsen the relationship. Wow. Maybe I should have Dark Avog not trying to entertain people. Okay. Yikes. Okay, Dark Avog, let's 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 not do the whole talking thing anymore. Let, you know what? You're not you're not a people person, really. Yeah, you're really super not a people person. How about then we don't do that? Uh leave alone for now, please. Ye gads, that was awkward. Uh I, I need someone who can talk properly. That's what I need right now. There we go. Getting all of that sorted. Let's go ahead and build that last wall right there. Um, <laughs> you can have a stone if you want. Uh, there we go. All right. Haul out everything that's in here. Haul all my silver. Haul the rock. And then I would actually like you to also clean this place. Please clean this room. There we are. Perfect. All right. It's a reasonable room now. Uh, it could be improved in a number of ways, but for the time being, I think that's okay. All right, so now we're gathering food. Not super happy about that, actually, mainly because I feel that we're going to waste it. So could you haul those in? Let's... I, I can't... Hmm. I would like to forbid this place. Can I forbid them? No, I cannot forbid them. That is a shame. But what I would like is to build a... We need some power, basically. We need a place where we can actually cook and preserve our food. And for that, we're going to need a cooler of some sort. Um, although I typically don't like building... Uh, chilling my main stockpile area, I think we will in this case... Uh, yeah, we'll dig this little room out. We're going to have this be a little battery area. And since I'm trying to preserve my growing land, I think the best thing to do would be to use as much of it, like, use it for multiple purposes. So, for the example, we've got crops growing there. If I build a wind turbine here, we're going to make use of that land for power generation, even though we're... we're um, growing crops over it. Let's go ahead and dig that away as well. And just to make sure that I remember that I don't ever want to have a roof there, I will just go ahead and put that. We can also build a solar power plant behind and then hook that up to the batteries. That should actually work out quite well for us, I think. To that end, though, we are going to need to have a connection running through the walls. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that as well. There we go. Now, how are you feeling in total? Yeah, you're really unhappy. You're super happy. You're super unhappy because I talked to you. Ugh, that's so unfortunate. I really, really, un uh, you know, messed up my guests. That is a shame. That is a crying shame. They're going to leave and we're going to have a, a worse faction. Yeah, they were awfully disappointed. They had enough and they are leaving. Well, that is an unfortunate. <gasps> what just happened? What on earth just happened there? Who is this? Did they did they go mad? I have no idea. Um, I had a nice chat. Let's have a look. Red, what happened with you? Acquaintance Red Hedgehog, minus 14. And how did he talk? Neutral. 
Um, new arrivals. I'm not sure what that is all about. Uh, who was this? No, we, we were kind of chatting. I have no idea what happened there, but someone got severely unhappy. Well, Orange Kanga, female warrior of the Unification of Choco. Incapable of none. Traits a night owl, prostophobe, green thumb. Mm, growing nine, though. That would enable us to, to grow heel root. That is actually stupendously important. So we're going to uninstall these. Get those uninstalled, and this needs to happen right now. Go ahead. And this one. Now I need to place a bed down here. Um, do I have enough wood? Probably do not. But we need one. So let's go ahead and build a bed. But now, just go ahead and chop this tree down. I know you're going to be very unhappy because you've not had your full sleep. Uh, we need another tree chopped. And if we can then rescue her... Chief Angered. What? Has heard about what happened to Toad and blames you for it. What? Me? I did nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, scallywag. Let's have a look. Yeah. Damn it. I'm being blamed for something that was 100% not my fault this time. And... Kangaroo blames me for it. What? They died? No. Oh, I may as well recruit them now then, you scoundrels. Well, that is unfortunate, though. I must confess. Right, we're going to set that to... For prisoners. Go ahead. Capture Kanga. Well, I could rescue Kanga to try... Ah, I really need that grower, though. I super-duper need that grower. I don't even know what they did. But... No, we're going to capture Kanga. There's a possibility that if I rescued her, she would want to join. But I need a grower enough that I can't risk her turning it down. So, in you go. Bad will. Because you captured Kanga... Okay... That was unfortunate. Wow, that went down really hard. Oh well, there's not much I can do about that. Can we uh, prioritize treating Kanga? You're ours now. Let's have a look. Let's have a check of your health. Malnutrition, minor. Let's try and feed you. There we go. That should all be good. Right, brilliant. Now, all of these things up here, these are ours. Right, I'm going to continue hauling in all of the glorious, glorious loot that we've just captured. And then, we will continue work on the battery area. I'll bring you back when there is something to report. And just as we're bringing in the last little bits of everything, we've got an escape pod. You've detected an escape pod crash hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. Okay, well, let's go and have a quick gander. Hunt. Right, well, Hunt is age 29. You're incapable of artistic, but you're a hard worker, you're too smart, and you're a bit of a pessimist. Uh, you know, not, not great things, all in all told. But, you're not particularly bad either. Maybe, just maybe, we will add another person to this colony. But, instead of capturing this one, we are instead going to put them up in there, in the barrack. Uh, where are you? Let's go and rescue Hunt. If Hunt decides they want to to live with us, that is perfectly fine. But we're not going to force the issue there. Furthermore, we need another campfire right about there. And this campfire, we're going to set up to immediately butcher the uh, the corpse over there of Toad before it rots. Spoils in less than a day. That is not particularly good. We might not end up getting to have time to do that. Hmm. We'll see. Let's get uh, get them in the... Uh, there we are. Kanga is fully healed. How are you doing, Hunt? You're still bleeding, actually, so let's try and sort that out. Oh, actually, Dark Havoc decided they want that. Okay, well, you're leaving. Very well. Let's prioritize work on the campfire, please. Take care. I hope you. Uh, I hope you do okay out there and don't get eaten by any crazy cannibals. You never know. This place is full of them. All right. We will butcher creatures forever. 
Can you? Please? Can we prioritize hauling toad? Oh, it's probably set not to allow human-like to be butchered. There we go. Let's get toad down here. There we are. Now, could you please butcher them? There we go. Perfect, wonderful, glorious human meat. Ah, it's going to be good times. All right, let's just carry on digging this through. Now, now that Katanga is in a better state of health, imprisoned, hungry, feeling bad, awful prison. Awful prison cell. That's a beautiful prison cell, I'll have you know. Uh, let's have a look. Eh, extremely low expectations. You've got a, a stab scar on your head, which is causing a little bit of pain, I imagine. Um, not difficult to recruit. What's your opinion of Dark Avak at the moment? Uh, minus 14. You've had plus one from Chit Chat, but hey, Dark Avak did just chop up one of your friends and it ate someone else. You don't know who they were, but you know that he's done it somehow. I don't know. Dark Avak probably confessed it, honestly. He doesn't see anything wrong with eating people. Probably just like extolling the virtues of, the, of this colony. It's a colony where that is per perfectly allowed. But uh, yes, they're, they're not particularly happy with Dark Abak as a result. There's Ray Thrumbros, but uh, don't particularly care too much about that. Ah, oh, our economy is just rotted. That is unfortunate. Okay, you're going to eat raw human meat, aren't you? Glorious. Let's have a look at your mood then. Stupendously good. Okay. Well, are you just going to chill out for a bit? Yeah, you're going to have a beer. Just relax for a little while. Is that an empty bottle now? Oh no, it's just not completely consumed. That's cool. Right, we need to get this place set up as fast as we can. That's right, you go. You can eat the people too. Right, actually, do we have enough wood around for you to build this? I think you might. Let's build that so that uh, we can at least have some joy activities there. Okay, so we're bringing in the steel now. We've got this going up. Fantastic. Next thing I'm going to want you to do is haul in an awful lot of... Ooh, you failed the construction? Well, that's not good. Uh, how are you doing over here? Uh, you're starving. That is not good. Would you please deliver food? There we are. Uh, they can eat that when they wake up. Which they have now done. Okay, so... Generally speaking, not super terrible. Very comfortable, though. Eight to five meal. Okay, well, that's, that's a bit better. There we are. Let's get this sorted. Hopefully... We are going to want a battery. Uh, actually, we're probably going to want... Well, it takes 50 steel to build. We'll build two for now. And we'll also build a... Oh, we've got slate block. So, sure, we'll build a slate block wall right there. If we can, could you please bring back as much steel as possible rather than just one load of steel? We'll also build a door right by there. We're going to need to chop down these trees in order to sort that out. There we go. Let's get that set up. Fantastic. And has that one got enough steel? Not quite, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, you're off to get some more. Bring back as much as you can, please. Once we've got that, then, I mean, right now we could just hook up the um, a power conduit, but let's set that up instead. Right, we've got a raid. A group of tribes people from Blue Hill Concord have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Well, trash. There's two people. Oh, this is fantastic. I approve of these food deliveries. They're very, very regular. There we go. We're going to need a little bit more. If you could please haul as much as you can. We might actually... Yeah, we've got enough there. Perfect. So we'll have that all set up. But we are then going to need a little bit just to hook up a conduit. Just chilling out? Okay, well that's fine. Have a look at your needs. Yeah, you really did need this jar, actually. You're in the dark. It's it's not great. You're, you're uncomfortable. It's generally not having a great time, really. Okay, well you can tuck in for the night then. Have a good old sleep. How's Kanga doing? I don't think Kanga's had much of a chat in recent days. Uh, right, they're beginning their assault. Okay, need you defensive positions, please. Go, 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 go. There, there we are. Oh, that was going really fast. And you are almost certainly going to die. Run down. Keep it up. Ah, they're escaping. Scallywags. Oh well. 
We don't have that much room for food anyway, so... I guess it's fine. But... Oh, what are you up to? I didn't mean to tell you to... Oh, please equip that. There we go. We need to undraft you. Then hold that. Then we're going to have to hold that one too. Oh my lord. Alright, you go ahead. Go back to sleep, Dark Havoc. You earned it. Check on your needs. Uh, rest is actually okay. You're not far off. As for a mad animal, though. What kind of animal is not really? It's a doe. We'll be attacked by a deer. Is it chasing someone else down? Because I'd be alright with that. Mm, she's just standing guard. We could kill her easily enough. I'm just going to wait for a bit. Our Kavak needs, needs his rest. Bless him. He's been working really, really hard. Kanga, how are you doing? Both you and our Kavak need food. Right, you go and eat. There we go. Then I would super duper like you to prioritize feeding Kanga. Ah, no! Thankfully, it was raining at the time, so that didn't work out as bad as it could have. Let's get all of this sorted and finished. Glorious. Now, do we have any steel left? We don't. Oh, we've got five. That might actually be enough to hook those up. Let's see if we can. Yeah, just one. Perfect. Then we'll run this down. We won't have enough for it, but uh, could you please prioritize working on that one? No! Okay, well, that, that kind of worked. Did that actually hook it up? Yes, it did. Glorious. Okay, well, we need to go and slay this deer. Um, so, how about you go here and man this gun swiftly? There we go. Wonderful. Now, go ahead. Ah, no, my bloody campfire's gone again. It's all go in this colony. Of course the campfire went because it was outdoors. Actually, with that in mind, let's not build the campfire there. Let's build the campfire right about here instead. A wall cannot be set on fire. We are going to need to chop down some more oak trees, though. I'm really going to need Dark Havoc to actually have enough time to go and talk with our prisoner soon. Otherwise, this is going to become very, very awkward. Uh, no, don't strip them. All right, I would like you to butcher creature. Human-like, pretty much forever. And then cook some simple meals until we have ten. Uh, well, we'll cook two non-human meat simple meals. And then uh, until five human meat simple meals. There we go. That should be good. Get this little... Actually, we don't need that anymore, so cancel that. Because we now have power. So we can start hooking up some lights around here, which is going to be glorious. There we go. In fact, let's get that set up right away. So we're going to want some furniture with lighting in there. Right about there should do, I would say. We're also going to need to mine a lot more steel to be able to do this. In fact, I'm going to have Dark Havoc just generally mine some resources for a little while. And hopefully we can get a cooler built as well. And I'll bring you back when that is done. Well, it seems that it's all go here in this colony. We've got an escape pod nearby. Let's go and have a look at them. Stevens, let's have a look at you. Male space refugee. Uh, refugee, mess is carrying. Incapable of intellectual or scary, but you're a fast walker and you've got a chemical interest. Um, not particularly interested there. But we will have Dark Hour rescue you. And if you really want to join us, then you can. We won't turn you away, I suppose. Got a little bit of steel, but we've got a lot more work that needs to be done. Uh, I do desperately need to hook up the cooler in there, though. That's actually a fairly high priority at this point. If we can get that cooler made, then this little area in here can be temperature controlled. And at long last, we should be okay. We're going to need a little bit more steel, though, before we can get that. And I would... Ooh, mental break. Who's at the point of mental break? Uh, you're probably hungry, aren't you? Yeah, this'll, this'll top you up a little bit. There you go. And then you can go back to sleep for a bit. <laughs> you can not treat Stevens. Don't deserve it, frankly. What did you ever do for us, Stevens? You're lucky that we got you in out of the rain. Uh, there we go. Let's see if uh, Dark Havoc will actually treat... No, he will. Oh, that's very kind of you, Dark Havoc. More than I was expecting, frankly. There we go. Let's check on Stevens' health. 
There we are. Stevens should be okay now. Right, we're going to get the last little bits of steel needed and hopefully get this cooler set up because we are just hemorrhaging um, hemorrhaging food at the moment. It's just constantly spoiling. and There's not a lot we can do about it until we get that cooler set up. That is now the highest priority that we have. So we'll just get this little part here ready. Ooh, what's happening? Timberwolf just took out a deer. Well done. I'll claim that if I want it. Oh, no. Bring all of the iron, uh, sorry, steel back, please. And hopefully then we can set this up. And at that point, we'll be okay. Message character named Stevens that you rescued is very grateful for his rescue and would like to stay at your colony. His traits are fast walker and chemical interest. I mean, chemical interest means that I'm not going to be able to strictly control your consumption of um, drugs, but no, okay, we're going to accept. Welcome to the tribe. You're at a major break risk, and unfortunately, on that note, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next, where we will find out how Dark Avak and Stevens get on and whether we'll eventually be able to recruit Kanga. We really do need Kanga because we have run out of herbal medicine. It's going to be pretty bad if we start ending up having to use Glitter World medicine to patch up a bruise or something like that. But we'll see in the coming episodes. So, as ever, like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.